And one of these boxes, guys, is one of the most anticipated sneaker releases for me personally in 2023. Let's get straight into it. Everybody in the building, man, today, bro, we got a couple of boxes and have been stacking up downstairs and I wanted to bring them up to you. We got some huge sales, some dope new pieces of sneakers. We got some sneakers that have been sitting downstairs for a couple of weeks now. And this one right here is a prized possession. Let's get straight into everything. First things first, this is from Puma. Salutes to the family over at Puma because they sent this over a couple of weeks ago and I've been a bad boy. I haven't even checked out to see what it was because I just got so much going downstairs with the baby and all that. Tons of clothes and all that just pretty much downstairs boxes galore. Adult, this is a Star Noah. Puma Star Noah. Baby, you're a star including. Introducing the first drop of a multi-seasonal collection of Puma and Noah featuring the global relaunch of the Puma Star. This collaboration was made with people who embody tasteful performance and off-court elegance in mind. We hope you enjoy this complimentary pair in the celebration of our launch on July 1st. It's August 1st. Yeah, I'm behind. The Noah Star. Not really my cup of tea on this nothing wrong with this shoe but it's not something that i would personally buy this is very close this like seems like a puma's edition of a stan smith in a way kind of and this type of look though in general is what has kind of been popular lately it's nothing against this salutes to puma once again for sending these bad boys over and um yeah i mean i have nothing negative to really say about them but not really my cup of tea however you know maybe we could these little these these look these look wild i ain't gonna lie and i ain't gonna lie also i don't know who noah is i need to look in to see what noah is in particular now the actual clothing that came along with it this i actually like a lot maybe this might be the reason for me to actually wear it you feel me it is what it is i've been trying to expand my horizon when it comes to you know brands and just different things out there that's why something like this i might have to try out just to see how it looks and keep it pushing but you got some nice shorts in the building and i believe that this is the puma and noah collab i guess noah being this is the brand so real nice shorts though you know for the summertime now this nice shorts don't get me wrong but these this might be just too damn hot to be rocking right now in atlanta bro it's 90 degrees right now as we speak i don't know what this is this is oh this will be good for the fall time i can't rock this right now bro we just had some of the hottest weather in the world right now in Georgia. So this nice together piece, shorts with the long sleeve. Sometimes that's kind of weird, even though I like it. Like, are you a shorts and hoodie type of guy? Wearing shorts and, is that is that like an illegal thing? I don't really give a damn at the end of the day. I'm gonna rock what I like, but do you feel like it's illegal to wear shorts with like a sweatshirt or hoodie on the top? Let me know down below in the comment section. But this is a very nice and heavy piece. I really do like this. And I definitely will be keeping this as well as the shorts. I'm keeping these. I really like the clothing that they did. The shoes, they're not, like I said, they're not bad, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys, nor am I gonna lie to Puma because I just try to keep it always 100. The material on this shoe is nice, but it's just, I guess maybe just a little too basic for me. But with that being said, I got one more Puma that I actually personally reached out to them to send to me because I actually want these and I'm gonna be rocking them. So hear me out on this one, cause trust me guys, you might actually like these. I actually just told them to send me one, and I guess they sent me a few different colorways of this shoe. Me and Bull were both talking about this on our actual Gloves Off podcast. The link is down below in the description. We go live each and every Thursday, and we actually just finished up one for last week. Go check out some of the videos as well, and stay tuned as more of those are coming soon. They sent over some other stuff. Puma Select, Puma Select, whoa. And it seems we got like a pleasures collab. Okay, let me see what's going on here because this is a lot. I wasn't expecting all of this. Puma Select. These are the, all these are the shoes, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Woo! The Puma Velo Faces. This one is a very basic color of that navy and gray. So we got some right here. We have another colorway right here. These are colorways I didn't even expect. There was one in particular I seen that caught my eye, but these are some newer colorways that I didn't even know existed. This one is in like a 
grayish and burgundy with some gum bottom. And then I guess they did a collaboration with Pleasures. Let me see what this one's about. What the? Yeah, damn. Check this one. All right, y'all, so we have here the Puma Velophasis, and hopefully I'm saying it right, maybe I'm not. It is V-E-L-O-P-H-A-S-I-S. -S. And I initially saw these when me and Bull was doing our Gloves Off podcast, we were talking about the future. We were talking about the current state of runners and how runners have been making their way back into the game. And we were talking about some of the runners that we actually liked and seen recently. And this is one that actually Bull kind of put me on, I'm not gonna even lie. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna reach out to Puma because I wanna hop on some new runners you know there's been the puma cell there's been of course the sockenies the a6 and all that but this seems to be a newer model with an old school twist and puma's been known to do this especially with the puma thunders the puma electras they were doing this kind of like bulky high fashion type of look but old school type of vibes previously and then this one is something they put out very recently that I just had to get my hands on. It might not be your cup of tea, I get it. But let's at least take our time to get outside the Nike and Jordan brand for one minute and kind of just at least look at some different sneakers, right? So for that reasoning, I definitely reached out, salutes to Puma, salutes to Riley. She sent, I told her, I said, can I just get a couple of these to give you guys some looks? And maybe I'll do like a further review on all three of them or just talking about the model in general. These retail for 120, to $130 because I've seen them on different prices for different sites, but they feel very, very light. The uh, bottom foam on the actual sole feels very, very good. And I'm pretty sure you'll see some, probably some quick shots of me just wearing them on feet that uh, they are a bulky type of vibe, but I have no issue with them whatsoever. Like this is something I just want to try out at least. We'll see, you know, you can clown me if you want, clown me if you don't, but I'm just trying to step out of the Nike and Jordan brand for once and just breathe some new fresh air. And I ain't gonna lie, I don't have any pink shoes. And these right here, I'm getting jiggy with these. These are my favorite out of them, salutes. This pleasure collab, this one is the the, the, the hitter. I mean, the look overall, a amazing. I would say ASAP Rocky, it's amazing. Pink Panther Pussy, you know what it is. You know what it is. So stay tuned for these because we definitely will be doing a review very soon on this particular model on this channel. Let me know down below if you'd like to see more about this shoe in general. Salutes to Puma. All right, next up, and this is actually available right now, guys. So you guys can hop on this right now. There's only a couple of sizes left, you know, and I'm happy that I got these in time to give you this quick little sale. Now, I saw these on the internet, and this is from Sun Suniki? Suniki? Suniki Sneakers in Sylvia, Ohio. Salutes to them. Saw this ad on Twitter. I hopped on it on, on it ASAP Rocky. Um, you want to hear something bad? Reseller vibes was kind of in my thoughts, but not even on no like crazy reseller vibes, just as far as like content and like, you know, trade bait or just something to, I don't know what I was doing, bro. I might even keep some of these, honestly. But these, of course, are the New Balance 650. Now you might be like, Tony, reselling a New Balance 650? I didn't buy it with the intentions of that. I bought it with the intentions of, I wanted to get them in hand. I wanted to see if I liked them. The ones I do like, I can keep. The ones I don't like, I could sell. And I could probably even make a little bit of profit. Damn sure I'm making my money back. These are initially retail for $130, this shoe in particular. Um, right now on their site, they had them at $65 and they had an additional 40% off code. So I got each one of these shoes for 40 bucks a piece. And I mean, even if I did take a loss, you know, I was just like, bro, honestly, I just wanted a pair of these for 40 bucks. I probably would keep these, all three of them, or at least I was gonna sell one of these. So I was just like, you know, I'm gonna cop them. I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit, see how I feel. If I do wanna keep them, I'll keep them. If I don't, you know, I can always trade them up. I can always sell them. And, uh, you know, go check out my whatnot. I'm selling a whole bunch of my sticker collection already as is. I'm pretty sure, bro, me getting these at 40, I could sell these at 60, maybe in a month or two and make $20 on top because they're not gonna always be at 40% off. But like, I didn't jump mainly because of the resale. I jumped mainly because of the price. 40 bucks for these right here, that's a super steal. You feel me? That's 90 bucks off 
from retail. So I was just like, you know what, bro, these are so damn low that I just need to buy them. And it, I'll buy, buy them now, think about it later. Cause at the end of the day, I, I can get 40 bucks back in this shoe super easy. Now these are available on their website with that 40% off code. I think the code is 40 off. So go to their website, add any of these to cart and then at checkout, do 40 off and you get another 40, an additional 40% off. Like I stated, they're retailing at 130. They're currently at 60. So they're almost like at 40% off now that you get like an additional 40% off. It's uh, it's wild. This is the purple, like what's the colors for these bro? This is uh, white yellow. I think this is honeycomb. And then what is this one called? White purple. It's white, oh, okay, white purple, white and yellow. And then, yeah, what do they call it? Honeycomb, right? White brown? These look like a damn uh, orange to me, but I, I guess. But the New Balance 650, I actually own a gray pair of these. And uh, I like the 650. I like the 650 more than the 550s. It just has an old school look to it. And overall, real nice, real solid. And uh, yeah, man, can't complain. Check them out, you know what I'm saying? Check them out, check them out. Hop on it. I'll leave a link down below in the description to the website so you guys can get on these ASAP if you need something for back to school. Um, check out my last video I did, back to school. Right now, top 10 sneakers back to school under $100. If I would have known about these beforehand or known that they would have stayed at that price, definitely these could be added to the mix. Um, Soul Play is doing a 20% off store-wide sale and Air Force Ones are going for 88 bucks at a pop. So go hop on that ASAP Rocky. But now, Let's go to the shoe I've really been waiting on for over a year now. All right, y'all. This is a shoe for once that I bought after they released. These shoes already have released. They're on site, but there's only small sizes now available. This is the original colorway. I think multiple colorways are going to be popping out down the pipeline. Um, I've been wanting this shoe for a minute, so I didn't like reach out to Adidas. I didn't reach out to nobody. I just said, yo, I want these. I'm going to go buy them. And that's pretty much what I did. And now they're here, and now I can give you guys my initial thoughts and opinions, and then we'll probably do a review maybe by the end of this week, or at least a short or something. But today, guys, we have the Adidas Crazy Infinity 003. <music> Woo! They are finally here. These have been teased for over a year now. I remember seeing pictures of them floating around. Of course, uh, just been waiting on them, man. Crazy Infinity 2.5 is what it says, actually. Online, it says Crazy Infinity 003. I don't, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Eh. It is what it is. 003 is online, 2.5. Infinity is what's on the box. Um, big fan of Kobe Bryant, you guys know. I have the Crazies, some Adidas Crazies recently from Champ Sports, salutes to them. And Adidas pretty much did a crazy and I guess modified it in a way, like made it crazier looking at least. And you got here today, the crazy infinity. This shoe looks extremely bigger than my initial thoughts and opinions. I ain't gonna lie. Like it just looks definitely bulkier. Now at the same time, like that's just how the shoes look. Cause I actually own, like I said, the original pairs and those original pairs also look bulky as well. So it just is what it is. There's a lot of cushioning going on on the inside of the shoe. So for that reasoning, you know, I'm not concerned about sizing or nothing like that. Let's do a quick foot test. Bro, first and foremost, these these shits is laced up like a goddamn lieutenant, bro. And they ain't, these ain't, oh, these things are tight, but they, woo! Sorry, my camera cut off because these shits feel so good on feet. These feel amazing when I put them on foot. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm really digging these. They're way different than I thought, like in person. I thought this would be like a little bit more smoother. These are a little bit more grittier, almost like a sandpaper type of feel. It definitely some 3M going around the back here. Rubberized on the Adidas on the back here. It's a little different than what I expected. I expected this to be a little bit more tighter. However, I can see why it needs to be looser because when you actually put the shoe in, there definitely is like, let, like it, it fills in so there has to be some more gapage at least i thought this was going to be more like neoprene i thought it's like that's just from what it looked like but it's more of a netting a netting mesh that goes around here you can leave it open if you want you can leave it zipped up that part i'll just have to decide and go from there i'm going to drop a updated video though on these more, maybe this week or about it, something i'm going to do a follow-up in depth on this shoe because i really like this shoe and i just want to put the shoe on my channel and this is the first of this shoe to drop and many many more and i definitely uh can say bro these are these are 
what they what i thought they were you know 160 dollars not that bad on the price point for this type of sneaker it's an old school classic with a new twist it's probably some new technology within which i'll dive in more into it is a basketball sneaker like it literally has adidas basketball on the inside so this is like not no originals or none it's, it's sports it's a sports sneaker which doesn't really matter, but it's just something to think about because it's not, you know, the Adidas original type of logo. You have the Adidas sports logo, which is also featured on the tongue and the outsole as well. So stay tuned. I also compare them to the crazies because I got a couple of those just to see the differences. But um, you can go true to size. Eight and a half fits perfect for me. And I'm definitely going to be wearing these like an everyday sneaker for quite some time. and be 100. So... I'm putting these bitches on right when I get done. I'm going to shoot this B-roll, and these are going straight to feet for the rest of the day. So, yeah. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.